What is up, guys? Welcome back for another live in the UU beta tier. They actually changed it to beta now um, because I, I feel it's like it's more refined. Uh, they've gotten a lot of things out of here, which also means that we had our uh, rank reset to zero. I got a couple of games with this team, and I'm 4-0 right now. I'm hoping to continue that winning record. Uh, but this is a team that Dom passed us. If you don't know Dom, check them out in the description down below. I will always leave links to people that pass me teams. Uh, that includes any one of my viewers. If you're trying to get a startup on a YouTube channel, I'll let you plug yourself by giving me a team. Anything like that, I'll link you in the description down below. So make sure to do that if you got any teams for me because creativity isn't flowing right now and I've got a lot of things going on. So uh, this is a really cool team. It's got Life, Ar Life Orb Gengar, uh, Spike Stacker, Clef Key with, I believe, Toxic as well as Thunder Wave. Uh, it's also got Scarfed Kyurem, which is a huge threat in this tier. It does a lot of work. Uh, we have a standard Sharpedo with uh, Mega Sharpedo with Protect, Psychic Fangs, Crunch, and Waterfall, a Rapid Spinner Dawn Fan, and a Assault Vest Max HP instead of Max Special Defense Conkelder, which actually allows it to take hits from like Aerodactyl. It can 1v1 it, so that's really cool. So uh, let's uh, let's find a game. Let's see how quickly we can get one. Let's see how many people are playing this tier, actually. Uh, quite a few, actually. <laughs> All right. So I don't even have to check. All right, so um, kind of threatening team. I don't like that he has a mini ore. That's kind of scary to this team. Uh, I have to keep my sturdy on Donphan intact, or at least like 70% of health on it, uh, definitely. And uh, I know that after one shell smash, even with the white herb, uh, Conk can knock it out with an Iron Fist uh, Thunder Punch or Ice Punch, so that's really nice. Uh, I don't see very good counters to Conk, actually. He's got a lot of things really weak to it. And, uh, like, his hit Top has to come in on it every single time. Hit Top's a little bit annoying to deal with, though, I will admit. Um, let's start by leading off with Donphan, I believe. Uh, against his Galissapod, it's a lot, not the best lead for us, not the worst. Uh, I think just getting a Brox is kind of essential. He might just go for the first impression. Uh, Liquidation might also be coming our way, I'm not sure. But uh, I am just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. Either way, I have my Sturdy intact, so I'm fine. Um, Donphan doesn't do much this game. Uh, it kind of deals with Bisharp a little bit, but... Uh, I'd much, much rather get up my rocks. Even though he has a spinner, I do have a spin blocker. So, uh, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, if I keep my rocks up, then his mini ore comes in at 75. His Glissopod keeps coming back in and taking 25%, so that's nice. Uh, also, with emergency exit, it's very easy to get that thing below 50. Uh, Komala's not going to appreciate it. He actually has two spinners, by the way. I didn't notice that, but he does have two spinners. Take some Rocky Helmet damage. He has leftovers. Uh, and what I'm actually going to do here is... I don't have a, a rock type move on this thing, do I? Hmm... Alright, well, let's go into uh, Kirim, because Kirim can take a hit from this, because uh, we are a dragon type, of course. He does go for the liquidation, does 21%, not too bad, not terrible. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Draco Meteor here. Uh, it's Choice Scarf. You might think we're Choice Specs and want to switch out into, like, I don't know, Bisharp. Uh, maybe he's Komala, especially defensive, we'll find out, but uh, something is going to take a huge hit right here. Uh, he might be AV hit on top as well, that's something to keep in mind. I'm not going to allow him to spin, though. There's no way I'm going to ever allow him to spin. Uh, he might catch me on a double with his Bisharp, but we'll we'll play it out when it gets there. Uh, but I definitely want to just drop a Draco on something on his team. Uh, that, I think that's the best play by far. I'm actually going to pause it real quick, guys. Uh, hopefully nothing happens in the meantime, but I'm going to grab a bottle of water that I forgot to get. Be right back. Oh, there we go. Uh, there comes Hitmon top. Here's the Draco Meteor. It is coming off of a lot of special attack, uh, but he does not take that very well, and I don't think he can take another one. However... Do I want to take, like, a bullet punch right now is the question. Um, I don't think I mind too much. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to go for another Draco and knock out his hit on top. Okay, we didn't knock it out. Great. Uh, he's going to go for Rapid Spin, and uh, the rocks are now gone. However, um, you know what? I think I'm going to switch out into Klefki here. Klefki should be able to take a close combat, no problem. Uh, it also puts a little bit of pressure on... Uh, with spikes, so if he wants to go for spin repeatedly, that's fine. He's gonna go for mock punch actually, so he, do he doesn't seem to have close combat because I'm pretty sure he would have gone for it there. Uh, well, maybe not because I was locked into Draco Meteor, but uh, I'm gonna go for the spikes here. Let's see what he does. If he switches out this, then that means uh, there's a very good likelihood that his Komala is actually not his rapid spinner. He actually has Earthquake on this. All right, that's good to know. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave right here. We are gonna connect luckily, and he is gonna go for another Earthquake. Almost knock us out. Uh, rapid Spin shouldn't kill us, so I'm actually just going to go for another layer of Spikes. Uh, they do a lot of work this game. And now I'm going to go for a Play Rough as he goes for a Mach Punch and knocks us out. Okay. Um, I don't want to risk him spinning. He can't hit me with his priority, so I am just going to go into Gengar. And we are going to fire off a Shadow Ball right here, I believe. Is fine. 
Uh, if he wants to bring in Bisharp, that's fine. I will just attack it. I don't care if I lose my Gengar. Uh, I do have Conkeldur, which now puts in a ton of work against this team because the Hitmontop is essentially dead. So, let's see what he does here. Um, I'm still faster than Minior. I have the Thunderbolt for it as well. We are a Life Orb, so that should be fine. I'm liking Sharpedo this game. I'm liking the way it looks against this team right now, especially with his Galissapod uh, coming in on Spikes. And I just need to get the Komala a little bit lower uh, than what it comes in on Spikes, like how much damage it comes in with. He is going to go Bisharp, though. Um, I don't expect him to Sucker Punch, actually. I expect him to, like, Pursuit or something. I'm going to go for Focus Blast. Let's see what he does. He might just Sucker. We'll see. Uh, no, he doesn't. He lets his Bisharp go down. Awesome. All right, cool. And he's going to forfeit <laughs> because I, di I didn't make uh, an aggressive... I made an aggressive play, and I expected him not to Sucker Punch. It worked out. Uh, even if he would have suckered, I could have just gone into Conk, gone for the Drain Punch. Nothing really on his team wants to come in on a Drain Punch except maybe Nido King. but even that. Uh, everything else was was pretty much uh, going to take a huge hit. Uh, his Galissapod would have come in on Spikes, taken a Drain Punch. He would have taken it well, but then the Thunder Punch would have cycled him out. Uh, and then he would have probably gone into his Nido King after that, so... Either way, uh, we pick up that win. Now, one thing I really don't like about this team is that it doesn't have any fire coverage on it whatsoever, so Scizor being in this tier is really, really annoying. <clears throat> his entire team, or almost his entire team, is hit by Earth Power. Uh, the only thing that's not is his Thunderous. So, uh, Kirim is a big, big win con this game. Uh, he could have double priority on these two. Uh, he's also probably on Burden on the him only. Gonna got, have to watch out for that. And I think I'm just gonna lead off with uh, Dawn Fan here, honestly. Uh, matches up pretty well against his entire team. He's gonna lead off with Metagross, so this is already a bad position for him to be in. Uh, I think I'm just gonna Quake, honestly, turn one. He's gonna go for Stealth Rock, so that's awesome. Uh, we are gonna get off the Quake right there. And he has Leftovers, which pretty much indicates to me that he's probably not uh, Explosion on this set. So I'm gonna go for uh, Stealth Rocks right here as he goes for an Ice Punch. He's gonna take the Rocky Helmet damage. If he wants to hit me again, uh, he will almost knock himself out. I'm gonna go for Rapid Spin, make sure I get rid of these Rocks, as he's gonna go for Ice Punch. And uh, Rapid Spin is not going to kill him, obviously. He's probably just going to go for Repeated Rocks. Uh, so I am just going to Quake right here. He's actually going to Ice Punch and uh, get us a double down, which is not bad at all because my Rocks are up and his aren't. So this is great. Uh, I don't mind losing Dawn Fan too much. I think Conk is probably my best play right here because if he brings in Arcanine, he takes 25% anyway. He's going to bring in his Ditto. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, now he either has to predict uh, Gengar coming in on a Fighting type move. Um, and go for something else. So I'm actually going to go for Drain Punch. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to go for T-Punch. I'm going to gain back some health. T-Punch hits my entire team, so I don't see why he wouldn't. Uh, it hits Klefki, hits uh, Sharpedo. Very, it kills Sharpedo, obviously. <laughs> it uh, it does a decent amount to uh, to Kirim, regardless of the resist. Um, what are we? We are Assault Vest. He is not. Okay, so we could definitely knock this thing out with like a, a Sludge Bomb. He's going to go for T-Punch. I'm going to go for Drain Punch, so I'm going to get my health back. Uh, we're actually going to knock him down very low uh, to the point where he dies to rocks. So we're just going to go for the mock right here. Knock out his Ditto, so that's one huge problem gone. Now I can actually set up with Sharpedo and win later in the game. So that's great. In comes Thunny. Uh, he knows my set. Uh, I don't know if he knows that I'm AV, though, <laughs> because he brought this in quite abruptly. Um, spikes are going to be nice but i don't want klefki taking a needless hit i'm just going to go for the ice punch he's going to go for t-bolt it's going to do a lot of damage he's life orb uh he's not specs but we are able to knock out the thunderous because we were av we were able to take that uh, i'm kind of getting scared of his hitmonlee a little bit but as long as i have uh klefki i should be okay which i'm actually going to switch hard into right here as he's going to go for a high jump kick straight away wow okay uh i'm just going to he could be limber he could be limber. I don't know why you'd be limber, but I'm going to go for T-Wave. We are going to paralyze this thing, and uh, he is going to get fully parried on that turn. Very unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, and I'm going to go for a play rough on this turn, because even if he brings out one of the other two, I can always spike. And we're going to knock out the hit only. That's fantastic. Klefki, put it in work. Amazing. I uh, don't know if you're getting thumbnail, though. <laughs> Sorry, Clef. Uh, he's going to bring in his Scizor. Uh, again, a, a massive threat. Uh, I am going to T-Wave this right away, as I miss, unfortunately. And he's going to go for an Iron Head. Uh, I don't know if he's... That doesn't look like banded damage. That would have done way more. Uh, I'm going to go for another T-Wave. We are going to connect this one, luckily. And he's going to go for another Iron Head. He is going to knock us out. However, I can now go into Conk. And we can go for the Drain Punch. If he wants to switch in his Arcanine, that's fine. He is just going to go for another Iron Head. He's actually still faster than me. Uh, so I think he's Scarfed. Uh, and we're going to go for the Mock Punch right here. 
knock out his Scizor, fantastic, and now all that's left is Arcanine, and we should be able to break through that with the remainder of our team. Uh, I am just going to go for the Drain Punch right here, he should in theory just attack me with Flare Blitz, this game is pretty much over. Uh, he's actually going to use his Z-move uh, to show it off, Inferno Overdrive, alright, down goes Conk, and now I'm just going to bring in Gengar as my opponent, oh, I thought he forfeited there for a second, but I'm going to go for a Sludge Wave, should be able to take out this Arcanine from here. Uh, as it does, we are Life Orb, of course, so down goes that, and that is another win, so let's continue. Looking good. We're getting ready, uh, I'm looking at my Discord right now, guys, and uh, we're getting ready to draft for the uh, the GPC. Uh, we're going to be starting tomorrow. Uh, you guys should be getting this live tonight, uh, I believe, on the 12th. So, uh, we're going to be starting on the 13th, uh, Friday the 13th, uh, for our GPC draft, and uh, it's looking pretty cool, man. Uh, we've got two divisions that are basically uh, split off, like, uh, it's within the same... Um, the same league, but it's split off like the best players and the lower rated players uh, from each season uh, Like you drop a division basically if you um, If you don't do too well you drop into the petite conference that it's called and then there's the grand conference Which is the one that I'm in because we did pretty well. We made it to playoffs. So that's gonna be pretty cool, man I'm excited, but uh, my opponent has a very interesting team. Allo is gonna be hard to break uh, I feel like I need my hazards up and he has a spinner. That's gonna be tough. I think I have to bring in my Gengar every time he brings in Historical, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I'm going to lead off with Kirim here, as he's going to lead off with Crobat. Now, he doesn't know I'm Scarfed, so I'm actually just going to go for the Ice Beam here. He might want a U-turn or something like that. Um, but I am just going to go for the Ice Beam. We'll see what he wants to do. If he does have the U-turn, he'll probably click it, so he would lose his Crobat, essentially. I don't know, maybe this is his Defogger. He has like three forms of hazard removal on his team, with uh, Torkoal, Crobat, and Flygon. It's hard to tell. Now, Kiram does a lot of work to his team. Um, I could just fire off a Draco right here and get a lot of damage off on something, but I don't know. Well, it's Type Null. It's not Silvali, so I don't have anything to worry about there. But um, I'm not going to uh, to go for the Draco just yet. I want to make him think that maybe I'm Specs, especially if he switches out into Aloe. It's going to be difficult for him to calc that if he does decide to calc it. So let's just go for the Ice Beam. Let's see what happens. He's got 120 seconds left. I still never got a chance to go get that Water Bottle, did I? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause it now. Be right back. Alright, I made it back in time. <laughs> it was really close. It wasn't that far away. I could have honestly just not paused the recording. And, uh, yeah. So, alright. So, he's gonna switch out into Type Null. Uh, he's gonna take, uh, not a lot of damage from that Ice Beam, actually. This thing is pretty bulky. Wait, what are this thing's stats? Hold on a second. <laughs> what's, what's going on here? Why did that take so little? Type Null. Okay, you have basically the same base stats except for speed as Silvali. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna go out into Dawn Fan here. Uh, he could very well have Ice Beam, but he's probably not gonna click it on Kiram. Uh, he might even just switch back into like Torkoal. Uh, Torkoal's kind of scary. I'm pretty sure it's slower than Dawn Fan though. So, I mean, Conkeldor is slower than Dawn Fan, so Torkoal should be. Uh, he's just gonna go for Toxic. That's a little unfortunate. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just go for Rocks. Honestly, I don't really care. He's gonna go out into Allo. That's perfect. Rocks are now up, which means three of his Pokemon are taking 25% on entry. That's fantastic. And I can pretty much just safely switch out into Klefki here. As he is going to go for the Wish. Uh, and I'm going to go for the Toxic on this turn. And he is going to go out into his Crobat, so great play on his part. Uh, I'm just going to go for the T-Wave, honestly. Just get this thing paralyzed. Uh, he's probably not going to expect me to have T-Wave, uh, because I showed Toxic. He's going to go for Taunt. That forces me out. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. Uh, he has a chance to get Parrot on this turn. I am just going to go out into Kiram again, as he is going to make the uh, switch out into Torkoal, which is going to take a lot of damage. And I think I'm just going to go for Earth Power. What's Torkoal's special defense? Like, I really don't know these mons too well. Uh, Torkoal has 70. Its defense is way better than its special defense. I'm going to go for Earth Power. We'll see what he wants to do. He stays in, lets his Torkoal go down to 3%. Uh, he's going to go for the Rapid Spin, but now the next time I get up my uh, hazards, it's pretty much over for this Torkoal. Uh, and I don't want to stay into Earth Power again. He has uh, two to three very good switches, even four, I would say. Uh, so I am just going to double out into... Or maybe... No, I have safe switches to pretty much everything on his team, so it's fine. I'm going to go for another Earth Power. It's cool. Uh, and now we'll go into Klefki here, because he has a chance to get Parad. He might pull a double, but it's okay. Uh, he is just going to get full Parad. That's beautiful. And we are going to go for the Spike again. Uh, if he wants to try to rapid spin again, I have the Gengar, so... Okay, so his Torkoal is dead. That's awesome. And now I can go into Kirim freely. 
And uh, he can't wish up his Torkoal because it dies to the spike. So unless he has another form of hazard removal on his team, which is very possible, like we covered before, he has two, uh, two to three. Uh, well, he has three potential hazard removers. So uh, now I am Scarf Kirim, uh, and I do outspeed Scarf Chandelure. So I am just going to go for the Earth Power. Uh, as he switches out into his Flygon, that's fine. I don't mind that too much. Now this thing can set up in front of me, and it's kind of scary a little bit. But I do have Conk Elder. And the reason I'm going Conk is because if he does go for Dragon Dance, uh, I won't die to an Outrage. I don't. I do not believe I die to an Outrage. So I'm gonna go for an Ice Punch. And uh, we could calc this, but I don't. I really don't feel like calcing right now. And uh, we're gonna try to knock out this Flygon right here, right now. We know it's a Setup Sweeper now, so it probably doesn't have Hazard Removal, which means our Spike is here to stay, uh, as long as the Crobat doesn't also have Defog. But we've seen Taunt. Is that all we've seen on Crobat? I think it is. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's the only move that we've seen thus far. So, I really gotta fix this this showdown thing. Like Jar told me that he's that he has the same problem where he can't see percentages on certain mons, but this started randomly for me. Uh, it I, I don't know maybe it is showdown, but I'm gonna try a different like uh, skin on showdown and see if it helps. He's gonna go out into his Alamomola on my Ice Punch, so good play. Not wanting to risk his uh, his Flygon. Now Ice Punch did very little. However, uh, he probably doesn't know that I have Thunder Punch, so I'm just going to go for it right here. Uh, so that did nothing. This thing is fully Fizz Def. Uh, he's probably going to protect as well. Hmm, that's annoying. Uh, I don't see any switches to Draco anymore, though, so that's good. Uh, I am just going to go Klefki here, because this thing can't do anything to Klefki. He's going to go into Flygon. Uh, I am not messing around. I'm just going to go for Toxic. Um, he weakened my Conk, which is a little bit annoying. And I don't have anything off the ground, which is also a little bit annoying. But I do have Ice Shard. I do have Ice Shard on Dawn Fan, so that's very nice if I Toxic this thing. You might just go straight for the EQ, but it's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, also, I have Sharpedo that can just sit in and protect, and then, like, swap out. So, I should be fine. I'm gonna go for the Toxic here. He's Lumberry, actually. Okay, so, kind of surprising. Um, I expected him to be, like, a Z-Crystal or something. Um... Yeah, that's not great. Uh, I am just going to go Donphan this turn. I want to keep my Klefki because if I can get up more spikes, that's awesome. He's going to go for the D-Dance. And I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks, I think. Because I should be able to live the... Hmm. No, I'm going to go for Ice Shard. I have to go for Ice Shard. Because if I don't weaken this thing, then I'm in a, in a very bad position, actually. Uh, I don't know if he's max speed. I, I should probably calc that EQ on Klefki. What's our spread? Hold on. Uh, we are max defense, so I'm pretty sure he's adamant, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let's, let's calc that. I said I didn't want to calc, but I think I'm going to calc this. Uh, where is Flygon? Uh, let's put Choice Banded. Let's just move this over so you guys can see it. Uh, and we will make him adamant to remove the band. Uh, he made a move. Alright, I guess he attacked me. There's the Earthquake. Didn't do enough, though. And I'm going to call him... Switching out. I really want to call that. Is it worth it though? Do I really need rocks up? Like I have the spike. I think that's enough. It's just his his crowbat's a little bit annoying. No, I'm just gonna go for another shard. Okay. I could have made the prediction and gone for rocks, but it's fine. Chandelure is gonna come in. Uh, it's gonna pick up a kill, either way. So I'm just going to now go for another shard. That's fine. Do I have anything that's more expendable than this Dawn fan right now? Uh, without Shard, I still should be able to handle Flygon because it, if it sets up on Klefki, then I still get to go for a Toxic on it, as long as I don't miss. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Shard. Um, I want to know if his... Uh, I still want to know if his Flygon is adamant, uh, because Klefki... Uh, oh, you Spikes. Uh, if we are Max Defense, Bold, uh, or call, uh, Careful. I think he did like 83 to us. Where's Careful? Uh, and if he wasn't adamant, if he was jolly and he just got a max roll, yeah, it's possible. Huh, that's tough. That's tough. Um, Sharpedo can definitely come in here and wreak some havoc on his team, except he has the Alamomola, so that's a little bit annoying. And I think he might be scarfed from the way he brought it in on Kiram. Yeah, um... You know what? Conk is AV. It can take a hit. No, I still think Kiram's the better play. I still think Kiram's the better play because now I just get to go for a Draco Meteor. And something drops. His aloe is fully Fizz Def. Like, it's not taking a Draco. 
at all. Not from the range it's at. I'm pretty sure. Like, he sacks off Torkoal, that's fine. I mean, I'm still in with a Draco Meteoring Kyurem, so <laughs> that's absolutely fine. If he goes Null, uh, I might go into Klefki. I'm not sure yet. Uh, yeah, let's go Klefki, it's fine. As he goes for the Payback, which does absolutely nothing. And we are going to get up another layer of Spikes right here. And uh, if he does actually have the Fog on his Crobat, then he played me hard. He's going to go for a Tri-Attack. That's going to do absolutely nothing. And uh, I think I'm going to switch out into Conkeldur here. Uh, Gengar's not bad, but I don't want to switch into Gengar on a potential Payback. Yeah, let's go Conk. I think Conk's fine. Uh, he's actually going to switch out into his Flygon, so that's fantastic for us. Uh, as now I can just go for a Drain Punch. And it should be able to knock out Flygon from here. And it'll also deal some damage to Alamomola while mitigating the fact that he has Rocky Helmet. So that's really good. Uh, plus, it's it's boosted by Iron Fist, if you guys were wondering. Uh, he can go Crobat. Um, I don't know how much speed he has on his Crobat, but it should always outspeed me regardless, uh, even with the Paralysis. Uh, I Thunder Wave Crobat because I had nothing else to do to it at that time. So, yeah, he's in a pretty bad spot with these spikes up. Like, everything is taking damage except for this Flygon, so... He might just want to get damage off on my Conk, realistically, with Earthquake, because this is actually pretty annoying to him. I have Mock Punch for the Null. He's going to go for Dragon Dance, and he's going to let me knock him out with a uh, with a Drain Punch. That's fantastic. Awesome. I guess he predicted me to predict him to go into Aloe and Thunder Punch, but Drain Punch was always my play no matter what. Uh, and if he goes into Chandelure here, I will Thunder Punch. Uh, if he goes into Alamomola, I'm probably going to switch out into... Okay, he goes into Crobat. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can take a Brave Bird from here. So I'm just going to go for the uh, these hit for the same amount. I'm going to go for the T-Punch. He's going to get fully parried. That really sucks. Uh, he's going to be left with 2%, and now my Mock Punch is going to kill him. Yeah, that really sucks for him. Wow. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad because he would have gotten damage off on my Conk. Uh, that would have put him in a little bit of a better spot, but I still think we had this game. Yeah, he's going to forfeit. Uh, GG to my opponent. Uh, he already left. I'm not going to say it in the chat, but we are going to get one more, guys, because I do have time. Uh, it's only 519. I have to leave uh, in like an hour. So, yeah, about that. All right, so we got a... Oh, my God, this team is scary. Wow. Yo, <laughs> you wouldn't think like a team with like a Raichu on it and a Salazzle and a Gigalith is scary, but like all of these members paired together, I have a really hard time dealing with. He has a solid switch into Draco. Uh, he has a solid switch into my Conkeldur uh, every single time with his uh, with either his Scizor if it's Fizz Def or his Tentacruel if it's Fizz Def. Uh, it can definitely take me on. Yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be very tough. Uh, I do want to lead with Dawnfan. I feel like it's the best lead uh, as he leads off with his Tentacruel. And I'm not even hesitating. I'm just going for the EQ. Uh, I know it probably doesn't knock it out, especially if he gets a burn. Does he get a crit burn? He does get a crit burn. Fantastic. All right, so there's a little bit of luck back in my opponent's favor. Um... <laughs> Nothing I could do about that. I'm going to go Nakiram. I'm going to keep my Donphan, uh, just because he does have one thing that I believe is slower than me. He's going to go for another Skull. Does he get another burn? He does not. Fantastic. Um, his entire team is grounded, so I'm just going to go for an Earth Power as he brings in his Gigalith. This is going to get a special defense raise, uh, but this is still a Kiram. That's still going to do a nice chunk. He has leftovers, however. Uh, this thing is should be slower than my Donphan, which means I would be able to get up rocks. Yeah, okay. So, do we prioritize that? I think he's going to attack on this turn, so I'm going to go Klefki. Uh, he's going to go for Protect. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, I'm now going to go for Spikes. Uh, let's see what he does. He might go out into his Tentacruel directly. He does not. He goes for Rocks instead. That's fine. Uh, I, sti I still can bring in Donphan on this when it gets a kill. When Gigalith gets a kill, I mean. Uh, we are going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave here. I'm going to paralyze this Gigalith. He's going to go for an EQ. It's going to do a decent amount, but it's not a 2-hit KO because we are Fizz Def. And I'm just going to go for another layer of spikes. If he wants to bring in his Tentacruel, he still has to spin on these spikes. Keep that in mind. And I do have a Gengar as a spin blocker. So very good on Dom's part to bring uh, Gengar to this team. Very, very nice. And I will just go for a, another layer of spikes. As he decides to switch out into Tentacruel, uh, I am going to go directly into Gengar. Even if he knocks off, I don't care. Uh, I have a Kirim, and this thing is going to be taking repeated damage. So he's going to go for Rapid Spin. It does get blocked. Fantastic. Uh, we are going for the... I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt here, actually. 
Because he probably thinks that I have nothing that can knock him out. So let's go for T-Bolt. Uh, actually, Shadow Ball puts him in range of spikes anyway, and everything on his team takes spikes, so I am just going to go for the Shadow Ball. It's fine. Uh, Sharpedo is, like, the only thing that can switch in on this, and even that cannot take a Shadow Ball too well. This is why I didn't want to go for T-Bolt. I wanted something that was Stab to hit the Gigalith with, so this works out. And I am going to... I am going to go out into Conk Elder now. Because Conk should be able to take anything this thing wants to go for, even an EQ. That's fine. And uh, I really want to predict the Tentacruel, but at the same time, I feel like I don't have to. So, yeah, no, you know what? Okay, so he stays in uh, on my T-Punch. Why was he faster than me? Does this thing get Accelerock? Oh, Protect, right. Let's go for the Drain Punch now. He gets fully paired on another Protect. So now our Conk's back up to full. Klefki is still alive, by the way. So even if he wants to come in and spin, uh, it's not going to get him too far. And Conk is doing a lot of work right now. Conk, I think Conk Elder is getting the, the thumbnail, honestly. Conk is just coming through on the Paralyzed Crobat, on the on the double para on the Protects on the uh, on the Gigalith. That's amazing. I'm going for T-Punch. He's probably not going to spin. He's probably going to attack. He's actually going to switch out into a Scizor, so that's great. We get a lot of damage off on that thing. And uh, now he's probably going to Bullet Punch. Uh, I think this is where I... Huh. This is actually a really hard turn because... If he's banded, he can do a lot to me. I just want to see how much exactly. Conkelder, Assault Vest versus uh, Scizor. Choice Band. Uh, if I'm max HP. Oh, actually, it doesn't do too much. It does 40 to 48. Alright, so I'm going to go for the Drain Punch. Uh, he's going to go for the U-turn, so that's fine. Uh, if it brings in his Tentacruel, it might actually die to the combination of Drain Punch plus Spikes plus Mach Punch. So keep that in mind. Uh, his best switch here is definitely Raichu, because it is a Psychic type, and it can actually like do something to my Conk Elder. He is going to go Raichu, so good play. Uh, it's still going to take a lot from this. Uh, wow, that is actually Mach Punch range. That is insane. What? <laughs> Yo, Conk, calm down, dude. What? How did I do that much to a, a resist? 66%. That's insane. Like, I understand he got fully parried twice on a Protect, but it's a Protect. He doesn't gain anything from going for that except for a little bit of HP. He's going to go into Sharpedo. Uh, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just Mach Punching this thing. He's going to go for a Protect. I'm going to go for another Mach Punch. Uh, I'm really not concerned with this at all. At all. Right now. Because uh, I know that he can't knock out Kirim from full. Uh, Mach Punch is going to do it. It's going to knock out the Sharpedo easily. And I think his entire team drops this. Yeah. All right. So what is that? Four wins? I think that's four wins. Dom, your team is absolutely amazing, dude. Uh, guys, make sure to go check out Dom. I'm pretty sure he did a live with this team. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, if he hasn't already, he probably will because this is a really cool team. Uh, it works really well in this metagame. So uh, if you want to play some UU, definitely use the team. It'll be in a paste bin down below as well. Uh, make sure to go check out Dom. I said that already. Uh, but also make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys on the next live. Ciao.